Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Today we're talking Scots pine and Japanese black pine, how to propagate them, I'm going to show you, and I'm also going to work on the ones that I sold last year. I've got a seed tray here, so I'll be hopefully growing one tree in each pot. I've got my normal bonsai soil mix. I'll just put this in. and spread that out. So what I've got here are my pine seeds. I collected these in the summer. So they all look nice and healthy. Last year I bought seeds in, but this year I thought I'd have a grow at sowing ones that I collected myself. It was a big Scots pine tree and hopefully these are all viable. Seeing as we're talking propagation, let's talk about stratification. For anyone who doesn't know, that's the process of simulating winter by making freezing a, a seed or getting it cold, warming it up and, and do, going through that process. And last year, I did an experiment with pine seeds, both black pine and Scots pine, that I'd bought, so I knew they were good quality seeds. I got one batch, and what I did is I just put them in kitchen towel, damp kitchen towel, and I put them in the fridge for sort of six weeks, as he suggested. I got another third, and I planted them in bonsai soil and just put them outside in the cold. And the other ones, I planted in bonsai soil and put them in the bedroom next door window, you know, relatively warm. And by far the best success were the ones that I, I planted inside by the window. They grew really healthily. They were never stratified. They never, you know, they didn't have any cold or anything like that. And they grew really well. So this year, that's all I'm going to do. The planting of the seeds couldn't be any easier. You just get a seed and you just drop it. One seed in each pot. You know, there's not a really anything more to it than that. Once they're all sold, I just go around and just poke each one down a little bit so it's maybe five millimeters under the surface and that's perfect i put a couple of scraps of wood in here just for this tray to sit on and that means it's not sitting down in any water and i can comfortably fill this now with lots of water and you know they won't be getting too soggy i don't think anyone thinks that propagating seeds is a particularly difficult but I think it's really worth doing. I really enjoy it. I love checking in on them every day once they start appearing. And what I will be doing is I'll be following you through on the progress of these seeds. Starting hopefully in two or three weeks once they start appearing. That's the plan anyway. And then I'll show you them through the year as they grow and what I do with them. I brought in some of last year's seedlings. I want to repot these and do a bit of initial work on them. So let's see how they're looking. These are about the healthiest of them. I'm not sure because I kind of lost track of which were which, but I'm pretty sure these are Japanese black pine. They're looking quite strong and healthy. Next up, these are a sort of average example of what the Scots pines look like. Not quite as vigorous and healthy, but not too bad. And this is an example of a mixed batch. It's got one healthy one there and two pretty weak, weedy looking ones, especially this one. My plan today is to transplant these pines into these larger pots, which will give them a much better chance of growing on healthily. But at the same time, I would also like to add some movement into these trunks using some very thin wire and just get something happening. I'm hoping this is going to be a relatively easy process and my plan is just to get a piece of wire. I think this is one millimeter wire. Coil it relatively loosely. Sort of around the tree like that. And then just add some movement. So 
basically, well, let's take it out of its pot. Oh, we've got some quite nice roots down there. So it's grown well. The roots are all at the bottom, which is kind of what you'd expect. I'll just loosen this up. See, we've got a good, got a really nice root system there that's developing well. There we go. So we can see the root, the root base. It's already got a bend. Look at that bend there. So that must be where I repotted it and it's grown up at a funny angle. So I'm going to work with that bend. There's the base, there's a bend. Let's take it back round on itself like that. And we're getting something. Let's make it a bit three dimensional. And that can just go in its new home. I'll set those roots. Kind of flat if I can, spread them out. They're all pretty much coming from one point, so this is quite a good root base to, to spread out and possibly get a nice nibari in the future on that. As you've been able to see at this stage, it's not a, te a hugely technical process. I'm just setting this up to have another good year of growth and, you know, hopefully this time next year, there'll be something, the startings of a, you know, an interesting bonsai. Let's take a look at this one. Again, break down the soil at the top. Give it a squeeze and see. See how it's looking. Yeah, it's got some decent roots. It's got a nice thin straight trunk. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just Wrap my wire around it. This one can go around and like that. Bit of an S that one. There we go. I'm not sure if this is a bit extreme for a tree of this size, but I'm going to try it anyway. That's the idea. That's nine done. I'll probably do a couple more, but I won't do them all. It's, uh, it takes a bit longer than I imagined. I'm really looking forward to seeing these trees develop. I'll be taking that wire off, probably maybe late spring, early summer when they start shooting on, because I don't want it to bite in too much. And obviously I'll be updating you on their progress. Growing bonsai from seed is not for everybody, I understand that, uh, but if like me, you enjoy the propagation, you enjoy the development and everything, it can be a really interesting part of the hobby. As always, thanks for joining me, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.